Now we'll write the code that will initialize the PD engine in our application. In appdelegate.h, we're going to import a portion of the PD library. And we'll do this under the line that says import UI kit with hashtag import, open and close some double quotes, and we'll type PD audio controller. And then you can see that the code completion comes up. We'll just hit return and save that. We'll create a public property that represents the PD engine. And we'll do that after this line, um, UI window window property at line 14. New line, at sign property, and open and close parentheses. Within that, strong comma non-atomic. And then outside of that, the uh, property will be of the type PD audio controller and space. And it'll be a pointer, so we need a star and we'll call it PD. Okay, I'll save this and head to appdelegate.m and this is where I'll actually write the code to fire or to activate based off of particular events. The first event that I'm looking at is application did finish launching with options. Let me go ahead and close this write drawer. And just before the return yes, I'll create a new line and I need to initialize an instance of the PD engine. And so I'll do this self.pd equals and create two sets of brackets and you'll see that they start to nest. And in the second set, PD audio controller alloc and then outside of that, but just before the last bracket in it. Now I need to get the status of the engine. So on a new line, I'll type PD audio status and I can find it here in the autocomplete space and I'll type PD init equals and we're going to open some brackets self dot PD and I'm going to call the method uh, configure and you can already see it comes up configure ambient with sample rate number of channels mixing enabled it's the top one I don't need the second one but if I wanted input I would need the second one so if I was taking in from the microphone for example on the device but I want this ambient with sample rate so double click that and it auto completes the rest of this message now I'll hit the tab key to go to these shaded portions the sample rate is 44100 or 44100 um, samples per second and then the number of channels will be two and the mixing enabled will be yes and objective C doesn't do true false written that way instead it does yes and no for true and false save that and now I need to test whether or not PD has been initialized so what I essentially did was I created this variable called PD init and it stores the result of trying to turn on the engine which is this uh, configure ambient sample rate message now on a new line I'll create an if condition and basically if the PD init variable is not equal to um, a constant called PD audio OK, which comes with the library. If those two values aren't the same, I'm screwed. I can't go anywhere. That means the engine didn't initialize and I'm kind of stuck. So I'm going to go ahead and log an error. NS log, open and close parentheses, and within those parentheses, at sign with two quotes. That's how you create a string in Objective C really quickly. And I'll type PD failed to initialize. Okay, this is all we need to do with the application did finish launching with options uh, message, which fires after the application did finish launching with options. The next thing we need to do is we need to shut off the engine when the application resigns activity and we need to turn it back on when it becomes active again. So an example is if you hit the home button on a phone or an iPad, that's resigning the application. It's like if you're going from an application back to the home screen, that's an example of will resign active. And we don't want to keep the PD engine going. So after this long comment in this message of application will resign active, we're going to create a new line and type simply self.pd.active equals no. Perfect. Now we'll scroll down and we'll find application did become active, which is here at line 43. And at the bottom, self.pd.active equals, you guessed it, yes. And with that, we have created the code to initialize our PD engine. 
And so we'll stop the simulator. It's been running since I last recorded uh, the movie and I'll start it again. And we're just looking to make sure it builds okay. We haven't actually imported the patch yet. We'll do that in a moment. But if it builds okay with no errors, we're good to go. And now we can get towards creating a custom class to load our PD files.